Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I continue my summer wave of tutorials with this watermelon big earrings. If you don't like big earrings, don't worry because with the same technique you could definitely make them smaller, let's say up to here. This is a fun tutorial, it's done with brick stitch and regular 80 beads or you could use 11 or 10 beads, whatever you have in your stash. And if you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry because I'm showing it step by step and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. You could definitely skip this intro if you don't wanna listen to it and start with the tutorial, but I have just a few words to say. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button Button. and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share pictures of your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube. Share them mainly on Facebook and Instagram. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 8 beads. And I use green, white, black and red. And here what else I use are these earring findings and two jump rings. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice but don't use soft nylon thread. You could use fire line let's say or wildfire instead of monofilm and this is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my earring findings to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I will take this earring as a model of what I do and I will start from here. First, I will add these three red beads here at the top and I will start doing it with the famous brick stitch. If you don't know anything about brick stitch, don't worry because I will show it really easy and slowly here. Okay, I will start with this, this and this. So I need three beads. And how I take them, first I take two red beads, okay, just like this. Then I will slide those down. Okay, just like this. And as I'm exiting through one of the beads, I will go back through the other one. Okay. Now I want these beads to stay next to each other, just like this. And I will go in the second one of them. Okay. Like this. Now I have this. Then I want to take just one more and I will go like this. Okay, so I have three beads next to each other. Now what I want to do is reinforce this row here. So I'm exiting out of the last one like this. Then I'm going through the middle one again. And then I'm going here in the last. So it is the first one, but when I go from here, it is in fact the last one. Okay. Now I'm here, guys. And I will show you now what this brick stitch is about. So this is my model. In my next row, it is wider and I have four beads in it. And I will show you how I'm adding those four beads to this one that I have here. So I take two and what I do is that I go under this thread bridge that is between the first and the second bead of this row. You see this is the thread bridge here, I have another one and I'm going with my needle under it under the first thread bridge of my two thread bridges that I have. Then I go through 
the bit that is closer to the center one more time and in this way I'm attaching those beads here then I will take one and I will go under the second thread bridge like this then I will go back through this one and in this row as I said I need four beads and this is the fourth one that I'm adding under the thread bridge that I already have been through in my previous step with the third bead. So I'm adding two beads at my last thread bridge when I expand. Now I need an additional step here guys before I continue. And this step is to go here through this one and through this one diagonally, you see. Okay, and I pull. Then what I need, you see here, what I need are those three beads that later I will attach my jump ring to and my earring finding. Okay, so I'm taking those three and I'm going like this. Exiting out of the first, skipping the central one and going out of the second. Okay. Now, what I want to do is go some more in this direction because I want to reinforce this joint. I want to reposition and go at the opposite side and then go like this and reinforce this joint. And by the way, you could do this several times. Okay. Now, guys, this tail thread is on my way. That is why I off camera will put my needle on it and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I did off camera is that I put my needle on this shorter tail thread side because I want to finish my work. And I'm reinforcing here again. And here, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I make it, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then you could repeat this knot several times. But when you're ready, you go through the following bead and you cut your thread. Okay. Now put your needle back on the, the longer part of your thread. Okay guys, and my thread is back again at the longer part of my thread. The tail thread is cut. And now I will continue with this row and it consists of five beads. And I'll show you how I'm doing it. The same brick stitch. I'm taking two beads. I'm going under the first thread bridge because I'm expanding or increasing my work. Okay, and I go through the bead that is closer to the center. And then I will continue the same way one by one. Take one, go through the following thread bridge and back. And take one more, go through the following thread bridge and back. And then last one you add at the last thread bridge that you already have been through with this one. And you see guys, when you work with Preciosa bead instead of Delica beads, you have this nice arc here. You see? Uh, and uh, it is good if, you, if you're making a ribbon, and I have a tutorial for a ribbon. And it is good when you make this slice of watermelon. So for some work, uh, this bend or arc here is good. Okay, so now I will make another row with 
six beads. I'm showing again. Take two. Go here under this thread bridge. Go through the one that is closer to the center. Like this. And then one by one add the other four beads. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to flip. In my next step, now I have this row, one, two, three, four, five, six beads. And in my next step, I'm going to be adding one of the seeds, one of the black beads of my melon. And they will be seven beads in total. I will add the first two reds and then a black the same way. First two reds like this. And then I'm adding a black. Okay, and I will finish with the other red beads here and I'll be back. Okay, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last fourth bead from this row. And this row consists of seven beads, six reds and one black. And now I'm going to flip. By the way, you might have a different pattern. There is no need to follow exactly where I put the seeds. You could put them whatever you like to look naturally. Okay, so now I'm here at this row, but you see, I prefer to work in this direction and I always, when I finish, I always flip my work like this. But if you wanna flip your work and it's also easier for you to go in this direction, it is good to flip your pattern as well. And in this way, you see this one is here and you start the next one and this one is here. Okay, so take two reds and one black. And continue now, guys, until the end. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back again. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I finish this row. And you see, now I would like to flip like this, but I should also flip my pattern. If you use this pattern, you should flip now. Now I have a row with only red beads, okay? Only red beads. And I will continue this putting my uh, seeds at the same places like I did here. But as I said, you could put them at random places or wherever you like, or you could exactly follow this pattern if you like it. Just pause on it and follow it. And when I have 16 beads here, here is the row with 16 beads, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And as I continue beading, this is what I have. As I told you, this is the row with 16 beads that are only red beads. And if you compare it to this work, they are absolutely the same. But don't worry, if you put the seeds at different places than I did, it still be okay. So uh, you could do it like me, or as I said, in your own way okay and now what i need to do is add this row of white beads they are not in fact exactly white but they are more like ivory color and i take two of them i go here under this thread bridge like i did before and i'm going here like this then i will show you one more step like this and by the way, <clears throat> this row is, is with 17 beads. And by the way, this row is with 17 beads. 
here I have 16 now I will do this one with 17 and the last one that I'll show you in a while will be with 18 beads okay see you in a while okay and here I am at my last step where I just added my 17th white bead by the way as I said in the beginning you could do those earrings up to here and this and this row could be your white and green part and in this way the earrings won't be so big if you don't like big earrings okay and now I'm going to show you the last row I take two beads and I go under the first thread bridge and under the bead that is closer to the center and I will show you one more time and let you do this until the end in this row I will have 18 beads and I'll be back to show you how to finish it okay guys and I'm here and I'm going through the last green bead and I have 18 as I said and now what I want to do is choose a place to make a knot I will go through some beads in this direction and here I'm going to make a loop and I will go once and then I will go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I could repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and now guys to finish my watermelon earrings what I need to do is to open this jump ring okay I go here through this seed bead at the top I take my earring finding I go like this and I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my summer watermelon earrings done with a brick stitch and regular a beads are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell and in this way you won't miss a thing of my summer tutorials and later of my other holidays tutorials down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.